What's going on guys, it's Ricky with Tech with Solutions. So just another video for you guys on um, answering one of the most common questions uh, within our group and although it's it's kind of expressed or articulated a little bit differently, um, it really comes down to what are penny stocks. Um, although penny stocks have a really great um, just connotation when it comes to the overall marketplace, um, it's been a, a rapid growing community of, of just investors that have been getting into penny stocks just because of the exposure that's been out there. Although a lot of exposure has been very manipulative, um, with what we do with TechBud Solutions is you can give it your you know your own two cents or people within the group chat can comment below and you know talk about their own experience with TechBud Solutions. But pretty much it's a group that I started. It started with just close friends on you know me talking about my best practices not only with trading penny stocks uh, but with investing all together. Um, I started it a little bit um, about a year ago um, and now we're sitting about 5,000 members worldwide. It's a it's a group that I've, I've grown to be very passionate about and it's a community that I've grown uh, to be a very, very welcoming community and, and it's been something that I've I, I could have never thought of to actually create something so amazing as what it is now today. Um, but I'm going to talk about the, the biggest question that we, we tend to receive and it is uh, what are penny stocks? Uh, the best way to put it um, if, you're get, if you're wanting to get into penny stocks is if you guys have ever seen any of those movies such as like The Wolf of Wall Street, The Big Short, um, just movies that are based on like investing. It kind of exposes you to a, a, a market that you never really knew was possible. I mean, you go and you do, you know, 12 years plus for um, school, and then you go and you get your traditional career, right? Um, that that's the overall like general aspect of what a normal like U.S. American does, uh, right from start to finish. Um, and then you work usually a nine to five, and there's definitely nothing wrong with that. Um, this market of penny sucks. Can accommodate that certain lifestyle. If you want to work your nine to five, that is amazing. Um, but like a lot of people say, um, and like a lot of millionaires say, um, you know, you're not going to become successful with just one source of income. Um, usually, the average millionaire has um, about seven different sources of income. Uh, this can just be another source of income for yourself uh, to get you more exposure, and and you can learn from uh, to get you into different marketplaces. Um, and it's something that you know, again, I don't use as my main source of income, but it's been something that's continued to grow at your rapid pace and faster than I could have ever thought of uh, based on the exposure that I've been into uh, getting into because of this group um, and not just because of this group but because of how I've grown as an investor um, and I'm going to talk to you guys about what are penny stocks so penny stocks are usually low cap stocks so what that means are um, I mean usually think about pennies right and those are the true penny stocks you know pink sheet stocks which means that they're not publicly traded under NASDAQ so they're, they're mainly like worthless companies that are extremely volatile and they're, they're easy to make a buck when you're writing them up, but they're very easy to lose money when you're writing them down. Um, and they're extremely volatile, so what that means is they fluctuate you know, from low prices to high prices, from high prices to low prices, extremely quick, um, or very quickly. And for those that are getting into it, they usually go for the small cap stocks, you know, those that are worth a couple pennies, um, those that are usually worth a dollar, and those are kind of the more dangerous ones because you have to think, it's all about percentages. And if you invest $1,000 into a stock that has that is worth 10 cents and it simply goes down one cent, although you're just like, oh, I lost one cent, you just lost 10% of your, your market value. So what that means is you actually just lost $100 out of your $1,000. Now, if you're trading with you know $10,000, you just lost $1,000 with that one cent. But again, now if it goes up one cent, you just made $1,000 or you just made $100. So that is why this market is so desirable, but that's why it, it is also so great because of that misunderstanding on how to identify where's a good buy point and where's a good sell point. So when investing in penny stocks, it is the purchase and exchanges that are done within these low cap stocks. There's there's thousands of different types of penny stocks that you can invest in. As you continue to grow your account as an investor and as you continue to learn as an investor when trading into penny stocks, you're gonna see that there's gonna be more risk with the smaller uh, value that these stocks have. And it's gonna be harder to predict you know, the supports and resistance levels, which are usually the balances um, and where it usually peaks at. Um, the smaller the penny stocks are. And the reason why is because they tend to fluctuate a lot quicker with these low cap stocks. So something that I want to talk about is how do you buy and sell these penny stocks? Well, there's a series of brokerage companies that you can use um, 
to be able to you know purchase these penny stocks and sell them as well um, and depending on where you are across the world there's different brokerage companies that can accommodate them within the United States ones that I'm familiar with are TD Ameritrade Robinhood and Fidelity I'm not again suggesting for you guys to use those specific brokerage companies uh, but they're definitely ones that I've used um, in these exchanges of buying and selling a series of penny stocks um, one of the other things that I want to make sure that you guys understand about penny stocks is that it the only way that you're going to be successful in the long run when it comes to trading penny stocks is knowing how to trade um, and and understanding you know the whole point of investing in penny stocks uh, you have to understand goes back to investing and that means being able to identify a stock which means a share of a company which means a business um, as a good buy at that certain value and being able to label it as a good sell point so you know kind of its peak value within that period usually for penny stocks you only want to day trade them which means you only hold them for a certain of minutes if not hours uh, you definitely don't want to hold them overnight and the reason why is because they tend to fluctuate so rapidly that if they end up getting delisted or any bad news happens since these penny stocks are so volatile it can go from one day being at 50 cents another day being at 25 cents and now you just lost half of your account value meaning that you just lost half of your account right so one of the biggest things that i would suggest before getting into the market of penny stocks is knowing what they are and how to trade them um, this group does a very um, excellent job when it comes to exposure of penny stocks the different penny stocks that are being thrown around within our group chat are a great source that you guys can utilize to grow your watch list doesn't mean that you have to trade them but as you continue to learn how to identify support and resistance levels and how to identify a penny stock as a good buy you can get a better understanding on within the stocks within your watch list as you continue to grow them which ones you can filter out since they're not good penny stocks and which ones you guys continue can continue to watch um, and set alerts on as you continue to be able to identify you know good buy points or good sell points um, and you know so on and so on so the first thing you have to know how to do is you know learn how to trade and, and you know it's the education right so when it comes to any marketplace you want to make sure you know you know what you're getting yourself into so it, it comes down to understanding what it is that you're investing um, I have a series of, of videos that I've created uh, to get under to get investors to have a better understanding on how to invest in penny stocks and how to identify you know good support levels and different terms and indicators that we use uh, to get a better understanding when investing in penny stocks and again that playlist is under helpful videos under my youtube channel but there's a series of other youtube channels that you guys could also utilize in effort to get a better understanding of this marketplace now right as you start to understand and get a better understanding of what penny stocks are does that mean you can jump right in i wouldn't say so um once you learn you know how to ride a bike it doesn't mean you want to you know just jump right into a skate park or a bike park um, in effort to go all out right so it's kind of getting your feet wet and that's one of the biggest things so there is a thing called simulation trading or paper trading which is um, kind of it's it's called it's like fake money they give you two hundred thousand uh, dollars of fake money but it's with real-time stocks and you can choose to invest it and with the education that you've learned um, you can continue to grow um, as an investor uh, with no real risk um, you can treat it as real as you can as an investor to, to see the most growth out of it. So when learning how to trade, now you can use what you've learned and now Im implement it when it comes to this these paper trading simulation accounts that you know TD Ameritrade offers. And there's a series of different accounts you guys can Google search it. It's called simulation trading or paper trading. Um, and then you can kind of choose an account with that. After you open your paper trading account, one thing that I would suggest is to treat it as, as much as you can um, as a real brokerage account. So although it's not real money, I want to make sure that the experience that you guys encounter when buying and selling these stocks is that if you guys can treat it as realistic as you can, will we'll help you grow as a trader um, because once you start investing you know, your real money, it's a whole different experience. So if you can kind of get that out of the way with these uh, paper trading accounts, um, I think by the time you get into your real account, um, you will be a little bit more successful because um, your emotions won't get in the, in the way. Um, and now, now that we have you know learning how to invest down now that we have you know your experience with paper trading down uh, one of the other things is like well how much money should i start out with and we have a, another video that we've created uh, on that specific topic but and one of the biggest things that we touched based on uh, was while you're doing your simulation trading um, you should start growing your actual account it doesn't mean that you have to touch it it could almost be like a savings account but one of the biggest things and the biggest things you have to understand is that you need money to make money 
So with $100, you're really not gonna see much growth within your within your brokerage account. Um, usually the, the account or the, the area that you wanna start off with um, as a new trader would be around $1,000. And although that might be a lot for some of you and you know another set of you, that, that tends to be a, a good number where you can make decent profit. Um, and it really comes down to on what the amount of return that you wanna see within a year, uh, depending on how much you wanna invest. So you can kind of work backwards. You wanna make you know $20,000 within one year, and they'll work backwards on how much you have to make a month, a day, um, and then see, you know, realistically making five to ten percent profit a day, um, how much your account or your brokerage comp or your brokerage account has to hold to be able to lock in those five percent, five percent to ten percent profit uh, to be able to, you know, meet your quota or meet your goal, uh, your daily goal, and then your monthly goal and your yearly goal uh, to be able to accommodate that. So. Um, one of the one of the biggest things is um, growing your account, and while you're doing that simulation trading, if you have a normal job, which is you know completely um, great, I would say start funding that account, throwing you know one hundred dollars, two hundred dollars every paycheck in effort to continue growing that account. So now within one to two months, now you're gonna have you know possibly you know a thousand dollars, five hundred dollars, and you can continue growing as an investor. And for the meanwhile, you're also growing your account. So by the time you have the experience um, and you have the education on how to invest, now you know how to properly execute and be you know your your success rate as for an, uh, a trader that trades penny stocks um, will, will be a lot greater, right? Because now you have an understanding on how to trade and you have an experience and now you have an account um, that can in a sense accommodate the type of trader that you are. Um, and, and that's the the biggest thing. And then now you're gonna be getting into different questions on you know what brokerage company should I be using, you know uh, what different indicators. And as you continue to learn at, um, and grow as an investor, um, you're gonna see more obstacles. Uh, but as you continue to grow, you know, don't give up. That's the biggest thing. If you're willing to give it all and you're, and you're willing to stay consistent, you know, build a set of rules and guidelines that can lead to your success. Um, kind of networking with a series of entrepreneurs, um, just like what we do in TechBit Solutions, I think is a very helpful environment, um, especially when you see good days and when you see bad, just because you have a community of people that understand the type of um, position that you're in and are here to motivate you. That is it, that, that's pretty much my breakdown on what are penny stocks um, and how to you know kind of get into that whole marketplace. It's something that's led to my success. Um, in no way do I mean that you know everyone has to learn or do the way that I that I started trading penny stocks because you know we're all different kinds of people so you guys can adjust what it is that I'm talking about uh, to in a kind of in a sense fit what it is that you're trying to succeed in. Um, but I think getting an overall better understanding or my point of view of how I've you know, been able to accomplish or see growth within my account as a day trader um, can give you guys a better understanding on how you guys can grow your account and be successful as well uh, when it comes to trading penny stocks. So thank you guys again for all those that tuned in. If you guys have any questions, you guys know how to reach out to me. Uh, please leave any comments down below if you guys have any questions or want me to um, just elaborate on anything else. Um, and the link to growing our tech buds uh, platform is also provided for you down below so it's a free facebook group that you can join and within that group it will allow you access uh, to the different chat rooms that we have within our within our platform so thank you guys again so much for watching if you guys found this video helpful we'd really appreciate the thumbs up and if you guys could subscribe that would be great too so i hope you guys have an amazing week um, and you know let's make sure that we end this overall year on a green note take care guys Baby, don't you let it go to